I have been worrying about my potatoes. They flowered several weeks back, maybe a month or so ago. And then I noticed they started turning all these colors in this bed and in this bed too. And I was wondering what I did wrong. It's my first time growing potatoes and it turns out I may have something very common happening here. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and welcome back to my meadow. And today we are going to dig up the potatoes because the problem that I seem to be having is that it's time to dig them up. So this is my very first time growing potatoes and I didn't really know exactly what to expect, but it turns out maybe it's time just to see what's been growing on underground. If it's your first time to my channel, welcome. I produce content that's mostly around my suburban garden. I'm a fairly new gardener here in Zone 9A in Northeast Florida, and I love sharing what's growing on here in our garden and all the things that I'm learning in just a few years here at this particular property. And if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more about what's growing on here in my suburban garden, you can subscribe to the channel to get notifications. All right, let's get set up and get these potatoes dug up. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I recently had shoulder surgery. And as such, I have limited use of my dominant hand and no ability currently to use a big rake with two hands because of my weight restrictions, limitations, range of motion. And so today we're going to do our best to dig these out with a little three-prong garden tool. Now what's good about this, if there are some little tender potatoes under there, it's more likely that since I'm not using a big pitchfork, then I'm not going to do as much damage. So yay. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pull the hay back from around all the plants. I happen to know that we have a garden guest that lives around this bed, and so hopefully in doing that I invite him or her to move along for a little while while I uh, work over here. Some folks might ask what kind of a garden guest. I don't know if you can see that hole sort of right at the end of my finger. We have at least one garter snake that likes hanging out over here. And while I am happy to have them here, I love reducing my interaction with them as much as possible. Aside from potatoes, I have onions and okra growing in this bed. So once the potatoes come out, I'll look and see what else we're gonna put down in here. And in the middle, I've allowed some Biden's Alba just to go crazy. Ooh, I see my first potato. Now, I've planted sweet potatoes before. Of course, a sweet potato technically isn't a potato. So there's my very first one right there. This is very exciting. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if you can see the life that's in this bed. That makes me so thrilled to dig in my garden bed and find earthworms and composting worms out here makes me so happy.
Now it's always a nice surprise to find these in the garden. This is a lizard egg and I'm going to put it back down under the edge of the soil so it can finish incubating and bring us some more lizards to the yard. This is very satisfying, pulling this up with potatoes on there. Some of them didn't fare so well, but they will feed the worms that are under the bed now, so that's okay. Now, I started about 10 seed potatoes in this bed, and I have clearly at least doubled my harvest. So for the first year, in a shallow bed, not knowing a lot about it, I'm pretty pleased with the harvest from this first bed. Now let's go see what's growing on in the next bed. In this bed, I previously grew sweet potatoes and beans, and I even have some volunteer beans around the edges. And so the soil itself probably had a little more nitrogen than the other side. Now, I don't know how that affects potatoes. Potatoes aren't looking for nitrogen as much as they are some of the other elements since they're a root crop, but let's find out what's happening under the surface. It won't be a fair comparison because I put out more potatoes over here. The bed had more room to grow, but I'm still going to get a second bucket so we can see the difference in the two beds. Y'all, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna show you now, I'm gonna start separating this batch of potatoes from their stems. There was more room for them to grow down in the dirt. They were a little deeper, a little harder to pull out. But dang, y'all, I am so happy, so happy. Look at this. Now let's get them in the bucket. Let's look in this bucket. That's about a half a bucket of potatoes, my friends. This is very exciting. I have two more beds of potatoes, 
but they aren't quite as ragged mostly as those two so I'm gonna leave those for a few days from now and then I'll come back and harvest those as well I could not be happier I believe on these two beds I put in about 30 or so seed potatoes and this is how much bounty it has given me y'all this is exciting can you believe it I can't I'm still kind of in shock I thought that there was something wrong with my potatoes turns out it was time for them to come out of the ground and I'm really grateful for the comments and help that I've gotten from folks on the channel in directing me in some of my gardening because I don't know everything I'm still learning too if you liked it again give it a thumbs up and until next time my friends remember to drink plenty of water and wear your sunscreen have a fantastic day